Alright, so I haven't really made a video in quite some time. I believe my last video was one year and 11 months on testosterone and four weeks uh, post-op top surgery. Uh, I figured that might as well check on the boys, show you how my scars are looking. Um, I am now two years and three months. Wait, hold on. Four months, five months. Wait, hold on. Uh, almost, so I am almost uh, two years and six months on testosterone. Uh, It'll be my six month mark on the 22nd of this month, September. Um, and on the 7th of this month, I will be eight months post op of top surgery. Um, I feel like a lot has changed um, drastically since I last recorded myself. Uh, obviously, my hair, you can pretty much you can see that. It's not as cool in real life. You can actually see it on the scooter in this. Um, I was doing the whole shave with an electric razor because I was told that if you shave it with an electric razor, it irritates it enough and it grows back thicker and coarser and blah, blah, blah. Um, that wasn't working for me. So I said, fuck it, and I'm just going to let it grow. I might look awkward with this, this little neck chin hair kind of like it's like divided i can like probably like twist it like this but i am um i was gonna like go in i mean i get out my sides you can't really see it um on the camera but you can see it in real life real life um my features um, everybody has that time hop uh app and that that helps me when i feel like i have been uh changed a lot with uh, transitioning I see pictures I'm like and I used to think I was like a dude then <laughs> and so yeah I don't know I guess I can show you my chest I don't feel good um, I got the what is it I don't even know what it's called like what anchor T double incision with a nipple graft, I guess. I don't know. I've never even heard of it until I got it done and then I tried to see how the guys do it too. Um this 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 is my favorite nipple. Um it actually protrudes now to normal. This one has some discoloration and it doesn't, you know, get hard I guess. I'm just waiting for that one so I can uh get my nipples repissed because I really like that and then cover this bullshit up and that's probably the stupidest thing I've ever done in my life um but yeah uh life update um got married but that my last video and uh, it's been a month and a half month two two weeks one week no it's only been like a month and a week um, so yeah, that's really cool, that was fun, um, I used to cry like a baby before starting hormones, and, uh, my wife was like, uh, if you don't start crying, I'm gonna turn my ass around, we're gonna try it again, and so I was really scared that I wasn't gonna cry, because I hadn't cried in two years, I mean, I've cried, kind of, I've gotten teary-eyed, but I haven't, like, cried, cried, in two years, so I'm like, ah, shit, I'm not, uh, this is gonna be bad. Um, I was a blubbering mess on that day. It was a really good day. It was beautiful. Um, I say we had the wedding of the year, but I'm a little biased, I guess. Um, another life update. We moved into our own apartment. Our own apartment. This is ours. It's a little messy right now. You can't really see this kitchen. Because of the numbers here. You can probably tell by the way. Typical um, apartment. Um, there's my dog sitting like a bird. Um, 
So we got an apartment, I uh, got a brand new car, my first nice thing that I've ever owned in my entire life, which is pretty cool. Um, I was working at a dog shop for the last year. Things went sour. Um, she cut my hours from 40 hours a week to 4 hours a week. I was making 12, she cut it down to 10. So uh, I started applying for jobs, obviously. And I lost a job because she didn't really fire me because she didn't want to pay unemployment. Uh, lost a job and gained a job all in one week. I already have another job. It's actually way better for me. It's I was working in Portland, living in Vancouver. Now I live in Vancouver, and my main office is literally right behind our apartment complex. Um, I think it's a really good opportunity for me. Uh, benefits, I have a family now. I have a wife and a kid, so benefits are going to be awesome. Um, my commute won't be as bad, so I won't be grumpy when I get off work because I had to sit in two hours of traffic. Hour there, two hours back. Bull crap that I hated. Um, and that's really, I mean, I'm, I'm planning on going back to school once uh, my wife go finishes school. She's almost done. Um, but this is also a pretty good career move for me if I decided not to go back to school. But, I mean, I don't really know what's going on right now. I want to, but I also have a really good job that can turn into a career. It's just deciding if I want to do that for the rest of my life. Um, what else? What else? My buddy just got his top surgery. Um working on my next one, he trying to push him to get it done sooner than later because it's very much available if he just gets his two letters that he needs. Um, a lot of other things. I mean, since surgery is now a necessity for trans, um, a lot of us have been getting them done. Uh, yeah. I don't really know what else to say. Uh, what else, what else, what else? I'm trying to think of anything that's changed physically. Nope. Pretty sure that's it. Talk to you later.